Hello everyone, today we will learn how to create Trello cards with OpenAI which means we are going to integrate Google Sheets, OpenAI and Trello at the same time and it will be helpful to you if you want to search for articles every now and then. So just collect your data in your Google Sheets that is going to be our trigger and then use OpenAI to generate articles and then new cards will be created in your Trello account. So we will create this automation with the help of Pabli Connect. Let us learn how to do it. So in this video, we will learn that how can you send or create blogs of the topics that you have entered in your Google Sheets automatically in your Trello cards. And you don't need to write those blogs by yourself, but you can take help from OpenAI or ChatGPT as you can see over here. We will be creating this automation with the help of Pabli. You can see this is the landing page of Pabli and you can sign in into your accounts or sign up for a new account from here Two options given on the right hand side. I'm going to click on sign in and then it will take me to the login page. So I will click on sign in with Google and then I will reach my account of Pabli where I can see the applications provided to create automation. Today because we are going to establish a connection between three applications Google Sheets, OpenAI and Trello we are going to use Pabli Connect for that purpose. Click on access now and then you will be taken to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you can see a big blue button on the right hand side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and then give a suitable name to your workflow. I am going to name it as create Trello cards from Google Sheets via OpenAI. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be presented in front of you. As you can see on your screen there are two boxes one has trigger written over it and the other has action. What is this trigger in action? A trigger is when this happens which means that you are going to choose an application over here which will be called your trigger application and whenever the event takes place in that specific application that will make the action application perform the action that you will be assigning here in this box. So our trigger application for today's workflow is going to be Google Sheets. Why? Because once you enter a topic or some idea in your Google Sheet over here, then it will be searched in OpenAI according to what the prompt is going to be and then the same information will be used to create a card in your Trello. So our application is Google Sheets and the event is new or updated spreadsheet row which means a new row is updated and then it will be forwarded. Now they present you with a webhook URL. What is this webhook URL? It is actually a link that will establish the connection between your Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. How is that going to happen? Because in order to make this workflow run, whenever you enter something in a new row in your spreadsheet, Pabli Connect has to fetch that information in order to forward that to OpenAI. So we will follow these instructions that are given below to use this webhook URL. So you will go back to your Google spreadsheet. So first let us enter a topic over here. Let us write environmental issues. Okay. And the date when I have entered is 18th March. Okay. So this is the date when this topic is entered over here. So now we will establish a connection. Click on extensions and go to add-ons. When you go to add-ons, you will see get add-ons over here. And when you will reach this window that you will be seeing on your screen right now, you have to search in your search bar as Pabli Connect Webhooks. Click on this button and then you can see that this is the app that you have to install in your Google Sheets. You can see it's already installed for me. So it will be visible in my extensions menu only. Here you see Pabli Connect Webhooks is given. Click on initial setup and then you will see this window. And then you will see this window. In this window, Webhook URL is asked over here and trigger column is asked. So you are going to copy it from here and then paste it in this Webhook URL field. Then they are asking you the trigger column. So the trigger column is the last updated column in your spreadsheet. You can see over here, there is no other column after B that is updated, which means B is going to be our trigger column. Click on submit. The setup will be done. As you can see, it's written over here. And then you have to click on send test. When you click on send test, then you can see that here you will receive one response of that entry that you have done in the new row. 
okay so to make sure that every time it is done whenever a new row is added go back to extensions go back to pavli connect webhooks and check mark on send on event which means that every time a new row will be added it will be forwarded to your pavli connect workflow like this okay so now this is something that we needed the topic now you want to write an essay about this topic using open ai which means that you don't need to do the work on your own so choose your action application as open ai over here in your next step and the event is going to be generate content see you can see there are many actions that are provided by open ai chat gpt advanced version then generate content generate image if you want an image of the environmental issues then you can choose generate image as the prompt we are going to use generate content because essay or anything that is written is content only so now you will connect your ai account click on add new connection and they will ask for a token that will be needed to establish a connection over here so open ai uses api keys for authentication kindly visit your open ai api keys page so let's just click on this link and they will take you to this page sign in with your account and then see this is my account that i have directly logged in into because i already have an open ai account you can create your own account then you can see a key is already created over here but we want a new secret key so click on new secret key copy it from here and then paste it in this token section click on save and your connection will be established now you have various credentials to be filled over here there is one called select ai model there are many models provided to you but we are going to use text davinci 003 it's written most used and it is the most capable model as well now prompt is something that what command you are going to give to open ai to perform so i'm going to write as write an essay on then i'll go enter topic colon and i will map the topic from what i have received as a response from my google sheets mapping is actually using the information of the prior step or the previous step in your next step so that every time that value changes because when a new topic will be entered over here then because of this mapping that new topic will be coming here in the prompt section as well now maximum token is the maximum number of words that you want if you leave this field open then it the default value will be set to 256 so you can write if you want a 200 characters essay so this is the token i'm going to use now select sampling type sampling type here we are going to use temperature sampling because temperature is something that we called a mark for uniqueness so we are going to use temperature sampling sampling value again presence penalty frequency penalty stop sequence all these things are something which can be set to default if you are going to leave this space empty then it will automatically be set to these default values that are given over here only the stop sequence is something that when you want to put a stop to your content so here the stop sequence is going to be backslash backslash and to hash this is the stop sequence for my open ai now best of which means that there are going to be multiple results to your prompt so you are wanting that the best of 3 should be provided to you okay so we will click on save and send test request and wait for the response from open ai as you can see we have received a response over here first of all it says text completion which means that i hope that our work is done the model is this and when you drag this down you can see a 200 word essay will be here in front of you you can give it a read thoroughly that yes whatever it's written it's human like content provided to you by open ai by just one command that write an essay on environmental issues now the length and all is given over here okay so which means that yes the content that we wanted has been provided to us now click on save so you will save this step okay then click on this plus button to add our final destination because we are going to use this topic to create a card over here so the name of the card is going to be the topic of the essay and when you open that topic or that card the description of the card is going to be what your essay okay so let us choose our action application as trello now once that you have added a topic over here 
ओपन ए आई विल ऑटोमेटिकली जनरेट एन एस ए ऑन दैट टॉपिक एंड देन इन योर ट्रेलो वर्क स्पेस वेयर ऑल योर पीपल योर ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल और योर एम्प्लॉयज वर्क दे कैन गो थ्रू दैट कॉन्टेंट एंड यूज इट फॉर देयर टास्क सो दिस इज द होल मोटिव फॉर आर वर्क फ्लो वी विल क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट अ कार्ड विथ प्लेन टेक्स टाइप डिस्क्रिप्शन बिकॉज वी डोंट नीड एनी मोर मॉडिफिकेशन टू आर कार्ड सो वी आर गोइंग टू चूज दैट क्लिक ऑन कनेक्ट add new connection and then again you need to enter certain credentials in order to log into your trello account so first you have already logged in then you have to click on here it will take you to the developer api keys where first thing that you will find is going to be your personal key so copy this personal key because this is what is your api key then further come down to this token link and then the thing that you will first find will be your username so you can copy your username in fill in there and then in the authorization page click on allow so that they provide you with this token copy this token and then enter in the token field click on save and your trello account will be connected to pabli connect so that pabli connect can send this information to trello and create a card that has been generated through open ai now you have to choose your board and your list id as well your board name is block space that's given over here and there are two list already prepared so as you can see our board has the correct name but the list id is either new topics or monthly task so i'm going to choose new topics as well now you will fill in more details whatever information is required to create a card so the name that you are going to give to your card is what you received from your google sheets that is your topic then your description is going to be what you are going to choose from open ai and the new content that you have generated which is this so you mapped it whenever a new topic is entered in your google sheets it will be entered in the name and it will be used as the name of the card and then it will be used to generate that essay through open ai so that will be entered in your description then the position is top which means that whenever a new card will is be added it will be added from the top and not from the bottom okay member id label id due date all these things are not required if there was an image or something then you could have used this url source to enter the image but since we do not have an image you are going to leave this field empty as well just make sure that all the fields where required is written are filled so when this is done click on save and send test request and then you will receive the response in no time here first of all check for any error because if you find any error you can correct it then and there but since it does not show any error come down to save this step as well when you have saved your third and the last step it shows that you have completed your workflow so let us close all this window and then we will go back to our trello to check that whether a card has been generated or not so let us go to trello and see a new card has been created with the name environmental issues and then when you open it you can see the whole essay is written over here as the description so you saw that earlier there was no new card and we just created this card with the help of this workflow so let us do a quick recap a trigger was google sheets we used this webhook url to connect pabli connect and google sheets and we received the response in the response we were having the topic of the essay that you want to generate then we used open ai to create human like content about that topic that we got from the google sheets when we received the essay we transferred this whole information that we got from google sheets and open ai to trello and a new card was created like this this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pabli connect if you have any issue regarding pabli you can email us at support@pabli.com you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you